Welcome to Omaha Homies. Let's catch up. I'm Ben. I'm Zach. And I'm Reagan. This week, we're going to explore the question, who are we? Who are we? Starting with Ben. Hi, guys. I'm Ben. I am a, a musician. I'm a writer. And I'm a college student going on five years of college. What do you do as your major? Um, I am. Well, I started off as a video audio production student at a community college. Same. Yeah. That's actually kind of where we became friends. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, I did uh, prototype design as an alternative major. Which is very interesting. It was. It was just kind of learning how to do 3D printing shit. Um, Which is crazy that there's a whole major for that. Yeah. But like it, it just wasn't my speed because it was all technologic stuff and I didn't really know how to do that per se. Um, so then I I didn't really know what to do. So I just went back to video and and like that's when I started hanging out with you more. Me, you as in me. You as Zach. in Zach. <laughs> Zach, I was started hanging out with you more. From there, we both ended up at a normal college. A normal college? Community college isn't normal? It's not normal to most people. <laughs> it's really not normal. <laughs> well, to a university. And I can say that because I went to community college. It's basically just high school too. Yeah. And not in like a disrespectful way because it's still a good experience. Yeah. And Reagan, but, you've had the benefit of not having to go to community college. I made the smart decision about not going to community college. Whoa. What? Just what going to mean? one college? I made the smart. Every single person I tell I went to community college, they're like, oh, I've heard that's smart nowadays. And they're probably just saying that to like patronize me. Yeah. But also like it kind of is because it is so much cheaper. Well, it's cheaper, but they lie to you and tell you it's easier to transfer credits when half the yeah. time they don't transfer. Yeah. And that kind of calls back to my experience because it would be smart. Oh, we're talking about you? <laughs> yeah, it'd only be four years Ben's been in college <laughs> instead of five. It would it would be a smart idea for someone who uh, took college seriously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your mom hear you okay. say that. Oh, come on. No, <clears throat> that's not true because I went to community colleges, community colleges? Yeah. Community college <laughs> for two years and a summer transferred to a four-year university and it still took me five years and i was taking That's summer true. classes and i was full-time the entire time damn i guess i didn't think about that but now I, i'm about to have two <laughs> degrees baby yeah no and i'm jealous i'm ahead of all of you yeah and and I don't in the, know. when it comes to well, time who has a degree and who doesn't when it comes to time, <laughs> i will literally have my master's degree by the time i'm the age master schmaster you are bro. now you getting your bachelor's flexing the m word i love it <laughs> um well anyway we'll to, get to that later we'll get Sorry, to that so later you, spoilers reagan that is very impressive though yeah i can I'm jealous never. i'm so done with school after i oh graduate yeah um so I'm, i don't really know where I'm, I'm on track to graduate but i did start at a university in a music program and then the music program um was not that good so i had a not a midlife crisis what's it called uh a quarter life crisis uh mm, <laughs> what's it called um when you have like an internal i don't know something like that i just i i, I kind of uh had to look inward and was like, what, what do I actually love doing and what am I passionate about? Yeah. And I was like, well, movies, but they don't have a movie program yeah. here at this university. And it's pretty lame. Yeah. Because There's, that's what you were expecting to do. Yeah. Was, Instead, I ended up with journalism. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that led me to screenwriting where I'm learning to write movies. Yeah, but you also like writing music. I do. Which is also what you're really good at. Well, thanks. I, I yeah. that's it. I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, and my, my music career hasn't really been that... Um, prominent. Prominent or extended. It's just difficult work find, f finding the motivation to work on things that aren't school because yeah. school takes up so much time. In enormous amount of time. And like I... You know, I still find time to do it, even if it does mean to compromise my schoolwork and the quality of it. Um, but but it's like, going to be bad anyway. Exactly. So, like, why, you know, why put effort into it? <laughs> We're setting a great example. Um, but, yeah, I, I just, I, it's more of a hobby to me, so I can't really put it on the front burner. 
<laughs> but I'm, you know, when I graduate and when, when, That's when I graduate, mm-hmm. not if, um, I'm going to focus a little. Because then bit you'll more have a that. job. And then yeah. you'll be an adult and adults are so bored all the time. Yeah. Like your parents, once you graduate, it's all they do is like watch Netflix. Well, yeah. Cause they go to work for eight hours and then there's yeah. what? Like they get home and it's like, what do I do for the rest of my day? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's, that's all about me for now. Let's move on to Reagan. I, I'm Reagan. Hi Reagan. Hi Reagan. Um, I'm also a student in college. Um, and she works a lot harder than Ben and I do. <laughs> <laughs> Some would say. Um, I'm a sociology major with a minor in Spanish. Um, Give us a little taste of do Spanish. It. Go ahead. Or sociology. Spanish, Spanish right now. I'm un estudiante en la Universidad de Whoa. Omaha, Nebraska. Y yo estudio sociología y español. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understood that. Uh, yeah. Um I've never changed my major, so flex. Um I make the dean. So how did you decide that sociology is what you were gonna do? How are you just so certain that you're like um, I'm, or were you just like, I'm gonna do it and then you just kept doing it? No, I honestly think I've like always known what I wanted to do, like since I was a kid. And I think that stemmed from, like, my parents being divorced. I saw a lot of, like, how the system worked and just, like, was able to, like, internalize a lot of that and just, like, made the decision that I want to be one of those people that can help, like, families and kids and rough situations. And also, speaking Spanish, like, I'm able to help, like, a whole other set of families and people... Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. That's huge. Um, other than that, um, I work a lot. Yeah, you do. Not as much as I used to. Yeah. I used to work. Used to be redonk. 45 hours a week. Used to be a little workhorse. And be a full-time student. At yeah. a grocery store, nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, manager at a grocery store. Ugh. Yeah, we're going to get into that. <laughs> oh, oh, we're going to hear about... a later it. date. I think we're going to hear about that one. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not very exciting. Huh? Okay. I beg to defer. <laughs> anyway <laughs> Zach Do you want to add any more? Well you said you're going to get your masters Or do you want to talk about that later? Oh I don't Yeah I'm on track to get my masters degree with How many the, years? Um, fast track program fast So track next program. year as a senior I'll take grad classes as an undergrad Why isn't everything just fast tracked if it's that easy? Well you have to be oh. like Your GPA has to be like a 3.6 mm. You have to like get a Certain letter sense. grade in all you your classes. Can't just let any schmuck yeah. off the street roll in and yeah. get a master's. Yeah. But I and still, I, I still have to like apply for like the grad program. But once I get accepted, I'll be able to do my master's degree. So you know you're gonna get in accepted. a year and a half. Yeah. What? That's crazy. That's Are you gonna get your PhD, PhD after that? No. I could call you Doctor Reagan. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Just Master. Master. Dr. Reagan. Just Master. Yeah. yeah. Master sounds cooler. I'll take Master Reagan. I know that's not the correct title, but that sounds. I'd rather be a master than a doctor. You. I yeah, praise it's... you, Master Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> master like Reagan brought me a sock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zach, why don't you just take it away? <laughs> uh, my name's Zach. I. I'm a journalism and media communications major with a concentration in creative media. It's wow. a mouthful. It took me a while just to remember all that. The creative media part stems from community college because I got a two-year degree in video audio communications. Exactly. That's called an associate's degree. What did I say? A two-year degree. Well, it's the same thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And these dudes told me, they were like, yeah, everyone who like does this at this community college just transfers to the university and gets their uh, bachelor's in this. And I was like, oh, oh, okay, I'll do that. Yeah. And then they pulled the rug out from under me like Mm. Logan Paul Mm -mm -mm. and it was journalism, which I knew. Yeah. But so then I had to learn writing and inverted pyramid style in AP writing on top of the video part which at the end of the day I feel like you can only learn so much about video and really anything and so at a certain point you kind of just have to take what you know and run with it 
And so you, there's some things you just can't teach and you just have to learn from experience. So it's good that I have this extra knowledge now, um, just cause it's kind of morphed me into a more all around Zach of all trades. Some would say <laughs> that's good. Right? That's really good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And I actually got into video kind of just on a whim because, uh, one of our friends was going to do, uh, the video program at the community college. And he was like, you should do that too. And I was like, okay. And so I did. And it ended up being what I really like doing. So it's kind of just luck got me till this point. And it's just lucky that I've liked doing what I've been doing this whole time. It is kind of crazy that like that is where we started because like, I feel like we've used all of that knowledge so much from like where we've gone. Yeah, we really have. Cause that's just like what everything that we do just like in our spare time or just for fun is because we've like had some things from community college to yeah, like to, to always go back. Give to. us the foundation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And even like some of the project projects I've been doing in my capstone class for journalism, I've used things like we had like motion graphics classes at the community college. So I learned After Effects, which is a motion graphics program and everybody else in my class or a couple people, but most people have never even used After Effects before. Yeah. So it's like I'm ahead of them in that regard while they were I don't even know what they were doing instead because <laughs> they'll be like, yeah, I took radio one. I was like, I didn't do that, <laughs> but I'm still here. Yeah. So it's just crazy the different paths you can take and get to the same point. But I was also talking to someone about how it's crazy just the different skill sets everyone brings, but how it's still just like one capstone where you all are doing the same thing, even though everybody bring something different to it yeah but that's just like one of the things you start to figure out going through college is like what you're good at and like what you can do because of that Mm -hmm. sorry the cats just you know they're cats (laughs) they're 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 gonna be playing with the cords and shit hi zeus you guys are just gonna have to get to know zeus and sylvie yeah this is zeus he's my bff give him a little jingle (laughs) <laughs> that's good <laughs> that's zeus's jingle um sylvie's asleep right dum, now bum, bum, zeus. but just imagine two, no, she's a scre- two, she's a screamer just imagine two <laughs> kooky little orange cats <laughs> orange cats are crazy they are pretty crazy zach i thought all cats act the same Reagan, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> source of that guy source <laughs> ben just told me that makes you really upset i just get annoyed when people say that specific colored cats act differently when that's not how it works yeah because they they can be the same breed of cat but be a different color i've seen and i guess you're right i've never really thought about it because like people come at like if there's an orange cat on tiktok that's like acting silly they'll be like orange cats are crazy <laughs> but then if there's a black cat acting crazy they'll be like black cats are even sillier than orange cats <laughs> it's like it doesn't matter what color they are anyway so Zeus and I are best friends, and he came from the Humane Society. Yeah. Because his old family gave him up. They said he was aggressive. Yeah. But it's all lies. We got the paperwork. They had him living they in did, a harsh environment. Yeah, they yeah. did a lot of animals. Four big dogs and, like, three other cats and little kids. I'd be aggressive, <clears> too. He did pee all over the floor when he got him. Yeah. He actually peed on me. Ben let him pee on me. No. <laughs> wrong zach witnessed it wrong (laughs) no yeah how well as a third party it would have been hard for ben to just run up and start like catching pee coming from zeus but he just stood there so long let me (laughs) hey 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 let me tell the story please so that the listeners (laughs) aren't like what the fuck are they talking about Whoa. Sorry. Explodes. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's not in the first 10 minutes. Um, so, Zach and I rescued Zeus he, from the Humane was, Society. We rescued him. We rescued him. <laughs> we almost got another cat, but we won't talk about that. Uh, but its name was Moki, and that's the cutest name in the yeah, world. But Zeus is honestly even better. Zeus so. is so much better. Yeah, Zeus is one of the best cats ever no we found no exaggeration we uh i I remember we went into the adoption appointment and we were like uh we didn't really like look at any other cats other than the ones that 
uh, we went to check out since it was COVID, so you could yeah. only look at two cats. <laughs> COVID. Which is stupid. The cats can't get COVID. <laughs> yes, they can. Can they? Can they? There's a cat COVID. Oh. This girl I went to high school with, her cat got cat COVID. How did they, did they then, test it? Well, how yeah, I, I took it to, to the vet. That? And then, like the meds really? are like really expensive, I guess. Damn. It is vet care. But anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah, we found Zeus um, after there was this one cat that we wanted to check out, but some other family was like rubbing their face all over him and <laughs> Wasn't that giving him Gary? kisses. Didn't want germs. Yeah, Gary. <laughs> Gary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, they were like, well, do you want to look at anybody else? And I was like, I saw online there was a cat named Zeus. I guess we could check him out. And they walk us over to this, this uh, I, w- I don't want to say crate. Because that sounds too aggressive. It was just like a standard cage you'd see it at a pet store. Yeah, you know, they don't society. they don't all have hotel rooms there. Yeah. The society. And he was just like tucked away in the corner. Yeah, under a towel. He did not like people. No, not at all. But uh, they gave us a little toothbrush to brush him and oh, make him Zeus's feel at home. Toothbrush? Yeah. And he liked us, so we were like, well, shit. <laughs> we absolutely <laughs> yeah. have to get this one. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we brought him home and he, he just hid. He under hid couches behind TVs for weeks. He hid yeah. inside of a couch. For we months. thought we lost him. Yeah, we were scared yeah. that he was gone. <laughs> yeah, no. So he unlocked the door. <laughs> he <laughs> he, out. he, he t- waltzed out. Turned the handle. No, and our, he our, other, back. our other roommate had left for work that morning. So I was like, oh my God, Zeus probably darted out of the door. <laughs> And now he's outside running amok. Like, Even though there was an inside part that there, had there, there, three there doors. Three doors he would have to get. <laughs> yeah. <through. laughs> hey, you know. Your mind does crazy things. They wouldn't make Rube Goldberg machines if it didn't happen in real life. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So Zeus was kind of a little um, scaredy cat menace. And <laughs> Reagan... Something I just you'll wanted learn. to love. No, no, no. I just loved him. Some something you'll learn about Reagan is that Reagan's very persistent, <laughs> and Reagan wanted Zeus to get comfortable with the apartment, so she mm-hmm. picked him up from under the couch, which was his favorite hiding spot, and the futon. And he was someone a little it. anxious uh, a walking little. <laughs> walking around our granted wood floor apartment, so it wasn't that bad. Um. <laughs> And but she had closed all the doors to the bedrooms and stuff, so he couldn't hide. So he was cornered a well, little. Yeah. So so we get to the back corner of our old apartment, where all the doors are closed. There's a closed closet door and all that. It's kind of just a little square yeah. of hallway. No way in, no way out. And and he is yowling like <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> <That's pretty good. laughs> um, and so Reagan just drops him. And I didn't. I set him. Well, down no, I. Gently. I don't mean drop. Yeah, you you put him down on the ground drop to see it. if he'd walk, and he just stood there, and he yowled even more, like louder. So you pick him up <laughs> to take him to back take him, to the couch. Take him back to under the couch where he loves. And mind and you, he probably hasn't used the he, litter box in quite the while. Yeah, no, he did not use the litter. That was probably three days after we got him. He did not use the litter box for three days. And so we were monitoring too, and this dude lets loose the <laughs> yellowest piss I've ever seen in my life, and all over Reagan's white shirt, and my feet, and your feet too, and, and like and just <laughs> there was there was probably five milliseconds before Reagan goes, we'll do something. <laughs> And it's like, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Like, plug him up? Like, what? Like, get paper towels now? He's not finished. <laughs> Grab a cup or something. Yes. Yeah, there's really nothing you can do to prepare you for that moment. Exactly. <laughs> but I've been vilified. Put up on the cross for this. And that's when uh, we took him back. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> no, and from there... You know, he just, it was, it was all just patience trying to get him to get comfortable. And, and that's really all it is. Yeah. You just I'm have to really wait. good at being patient. Because yeah. they're going to get comfortable. Yeah. And, and like, I, I think we were lucky, especially with Sylvie, our, our second cat. cat, who is, um, a lot cuter than Zeus, but, <laughs> <laughs> but a lot dumber Take than Zeus. That yeah. Zeus is more the brains of the operation. Yeah. <laughs> You'll learn fast. <laughs> 
Um, right yeah, uh, Sylvie's Sylvie's the fat, fluffy one. She's she always like, lays on her back. She lays on her back, like, like just a, to but chill. But that means yeah. she feels safe because yeah, she good. exposes her tummy. Yeah, yeah. It's just like how she gets comfortable. Um, it's yesterday crazy. was actually Sylvie's third birthday. Yeah, yeah. Sylvie yeah. just turned three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Sylvie! Sylvie. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Oh, you'll That's probably be probably a lot of that. gonna happen a lot. Yeah. Um, and Zeus is five. That's crazy. Yeah, Zeus was three and a half when we got him. Do that math, what fuckers. A, what, a, um. what a big boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that, um, uh, anyway, Sylvie's really chill. Yeah. Um, she sleeps a lot. And um, and how did we find uh, her, Reagan? Um, yeah, I was n- I was not aware that there was going to be a second cat in the apartment. So <laughs> Ben and I, I was having a bad day. Ben and Reagan just like to go to the Humane Society for f- for fun. We like to like, donate it's like our fr- time. It's like a free zoo, <laughs> yeah. in a way. It is. It's a zoo where you get to touch little a, creatures. I was having a bad day. And it was a very bad day. So um, I was having... Yeah, so Ben and I decided to go to the Humane Society because I'm having a bad day. And I was like, let's just look. And then we get there yeah, and I'm like, just look. no, I, like we're walking out with a cat. And, yeah, and I just get, this happens a lot where <laughs> I'm like at work and I'll just, and there's no consulting me about a thing. Like I'll get. Because you're so like. <laughs> Strict. Not that I would care, <laughs> but even just situations where I feel like it's something that like we should talk about together, yeah. Ben will just act <laughs> as opposed to <laughs> conversating hey, first. Act now, <laughs> ask for forgiveness later. Which is fine, yeah, because I'm usually pretty chill and I really don't care because now I just get a Sylvia will just like lay on my back yeah. while I'm laying down. Oh my it's God, really you cute. Two best friends. But yeah. Yeah, so we find Sylvie and we put. We put I think Sylvie found us. <laughs> well, her name was actually Dreamsicle when she was locked up. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the second we walked in the door, she just started, she didn't yowl at us, but she's just so talkative. Uh, something we come to learn. She was just, meow, meow, meow. You're really good at cat impressions. Thanks, guys. Anyway, we joined the list, um, and then I actually had to work at my old job and so ben was gonna quick drive me home and then come back and get the cat it was a very stupid idea well <laughs> as we're driving home i just i was just so sick that day i had to call into work yeah and we turn around she got, she got the flu Ugh. three seconds after we got in the flu, car if you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i called into work and we turned around and we went back and and, and the then Reagan continued to have a few panic attacks, being like, we shouldn't be doing this. We shouldn't be doing this. We can't even afford to have another cat. There's no room. Zeus is going to hate me. Zeus is going to hate me. Yeah. I, Zeus and I, Reagan no, are best I was buds. They're like this. Worried. And you can't see, but I'm crossing my finger yeah. right now. No, he's a mama's boy. Yeah. I know. I was stressing. But at this point. Which is so funny because they're best friends. We've already yeah. paid for the cat. She's in the box. We're driving home. And I'm just like in, in tears. Yeah. <laughs> and then we brought her home. And then what would you text me? Like, <laughs> hey, we, got we got another, another cat. cat. No, it was no, no it was questions like even asked. Nope. No, I, we, I'm also, pretty sure it's it was going like, to shit in your bathroom. Yeah. So deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and we we did we locked her in your r- bathroom because that's what they suggest to do mm-hmm. is like keep your cats separate for a little bit and slowly introduce them. And Sylvie is just so social and like chill. The second we got her out of the box, she was like, "No, nah, I'm ready to look around." I'm, yeah, I'm, she's I'm like, "Cool, dude." <laughs> and like, we yeah. had never heard Zeus hiss before this, and he mm-hmm. was like hissing through the bathroom door. Yeah, like, I love that album. Uh, <laughs> that's. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and so we're supposed to keep them separate. And so I'm at work and I'm like, Ben, keep the cat separate because Zach wasn't home. And Ben texts me. I'm at work. I let, Sil- <laughs> I, 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 I let Sylvie out. <laughs> and I was like, what? And so I had to get home from work, didn't I? Or did you get home first? You no, know, you got home first. Yeah. Yeah. You found him and first. So I had to be the... I had the to meet her and be like, oh, oh, hi, cat I've never met before. <laughs> but everything was fine. Yeah, no, it was. I, I wouldn't have left him alone if I didn't trust him. Reagan. I don't oh. know if I believe that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You'd be like, they're fine. I also just had to go to work. It's not like I could, I couldn't call in 
So I was just like, uh. oh my gosh. Well, we did end up changing her name from Dreamsicle to Sylvie. Um, yeah. Yeah. And she had babies. Yeah. Before. Yeah. And we have a picture of her with the cute little babies on the fridge. She was like one. She was a stray. Yeah. She was assaulted on the streets. You stray again. <laughs> I was specifically shaking my head at you so you didn't say that. <laughs> it's okay. She's we have to girl. keep that in though. It's, it's true. She was assaulted. Yeah. Yeah. But she got well, There are no kitty cat police, okay? Oh my gosh. Well, she should be. she got taken into the Humane Society and they fostered her out so she could nurse her little babies. Yeah. And then when we got her, her belly was shaved and she was so skinny and now she's a fat loaf. Yeah. <laughs> she's just grown her hair out so much too. Yeah. She looks good on her. The vet says yeah. she has a very pretty coat. But, but <laughs> And she looks chunky, but she really isn't. It's just yeah. how fluffy she is. I'm sure if we and, shaved her, she'd uh, look a little chunky. Yeah. But no. And she, uh, Segway, really likes to sit on my hamster's cage. Uh, Greg, They're you besties. guys would love Greg. <laughs> Let's get him out here. <laughs> um, Greg is a hamster I got from Reagan's aunt. For free. Yeah, because yeah. she was like, I'm getting rid of this thing. Because <laughs> her house is a zoo, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Do- two dogs, a cat, a lizard. There were but- two hamsters. Yeah, but now there's one. Greg and Ham- Hamsty? Hammy. Ha- Hammy? Or no, Hamsty. It was- it was yeah, he didn't have a yeah. name. Yeah, he's called a Hamsty. Greg had no name either. And so... No name I'll- Greg. And so... Reagan was just like, are you serious? You actually want this? And I was like, ah, okay. <laughs> and he's been around for like, what, over a year now? Yeah. He's Which is hamsters, I think I looked up, it's like two to four years is like the kind that I That's have. so crazy. He's like that a makes teddy me so sad. bear hamster, a Syrian. Yeah, but I mean, my sister like so got, fluffy. got he her, so her, her gerbils when I was like in high school. and. Really? One just died. But like, like damn. But like gerbils aren't hamsters. But they're related. But, they're like cousins. But people, <laughs> but people always talk about hamsters like, yeah, mine just died. And so I feel like yeah. it's a pretty decent achievement for him to still be around. But I stressed out so much about this hamster when of I course. first got him. Just trying to find the right wheel and like the right, <laughs> putting the right amount of bedding in and the right food. I even stress about now because like I just get scared that he hates his life, even though I know I'm treating him way better than most people probably would be treating a hamster. Yeah, I mean, call it first parents or first kid parent yeah. syndrome, which like, you know, people hate the analogy of uh, animals to little babies <laughs> because like, yeah, it is more maintenance to mm-hmm. have a baby, obviously. But like, you know, it's your first responsibility. Like Zeus was so stressful to me because I was like, if he dies, like it's I'm, I'm going to hate myself forever. And yeah. like, and I just felt so much responsibility for him. And like, I had to feed him and clean his poop. To feed him and, every day. What? Yeah. <laughs> twice a day. Um, but yeah. And, and, and like just the, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just, I, I also just loved him so much that I was like, if anything happens to him, I'm going to die. <laughs> so like, but, but as soon as Sylvie came around, I was like, oh, this is so easy. Yeah. <laughs> but at that point, Zeus was so comfortable with us. Yeah. And, and like, like cats aren't babies. So you can just leave a cat alone and it'll be fine. Yeah. A and baby, if you leave alone for eight hours, <laughs> <laughs> never doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, I, and we also had moved with Zeus and yeah, he'd he, been through a lot. He got so much more comfortable with us after that. He used to not come into Reagan and I's room. Reagan and I are dating, by the way. Um, we we're supposed to let them guess. Shit. <laughs> um, I thought you and Zach were dating. Uh, we just shared a room. Zach and I's room in your room. Anyway. And one of us has a twin bed and we won't say who. <laughs> Ben and I like to snuggle extra hard. <laughs> we sleep head to foot. Kiss those dogs goodnight. <laughs> That's just. Um, what was I saying? Anyway, cat. um, Zeus sleeps in between Ben and I now. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, Zeus is Ben's good morning kiss. Last night, last night I was trying to fall asleep. It was like three in the morning, and I normally I can tell where Zeus is just because I can either feel him or see him. But uh, I was just like looking around for him because I needed to like shift my my body and I was like, I don't want to crush him. So I just like 
<laughs> I see a dark little lump by Reagan's knee and I'm like, I think that's her blanket. And I take my phone out and I just turn the screen on and Zeus is giving me like the most seductive little stare. It's <laughs> like, what's up, dude? <laughs> it's just like, it's just so funny how expressive he is when, when they say cats don't have emotions, emotions like physically. There's yeah. a segment for you. <laughs> yeah. Reagan and Zeus are hogging the bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to update you guys every single time, every episode say how well I've been sleeping uh, and in relation to Reagan. And Apparently Zeus. lately it hasn't been great because yeah, I actually, beat yeah. the shit out of bed in my sleep. It's not even that. I just can't sleep. How do you sleep, Zach? I sleep honestly how better. Do you sleep at night. I was actually talking to uh, my psychologist. Whoa. <laughs> about uh, how I've gone from like before I fall asleep being like, like anxious, like having anxious thoughts to like, like happy anxious mm. thoughts almost like before it was like I'm thinking about all these things that I'm nervous about and mm. that I'm scared are coming up and so it'd be harder for me to fall asleep but now it's to a point where it's like it's still kind of hard for me to fall asleep but the things I'm thinking about are like good things mm -hmm. yeah like food like, day at work tomorrow yeah like oh. food day at work tomorrow <laughs> and then yeah. just like projects I'm working on mm -hmm. for like class or just other stuff I'm like okay how am I gonna do this how am I gonna put this together and so it's still hard for me to fall asleep sometimes but like it's better than what it was beforehand yeah so you I know you use melatonin sometimes like how often do you use your melatonin it's like I've had the same supply for a while it's only if I'm like okay this is getting ridiculous yeah <laughs> I need to pop a melatonin because like I don't want to like I don't know if this is how it works but I don't want it to like lose its shebang oh yeah and like just stop working yeah so because it does it does lose its effectiveness yeah. and it's maybe like once every couple weeks, maybe mm. once a week, but like I have to get up because I have it on a shelf far away from my bed for some reason. So <laughs> I have to get up and like eat it. And I guess it works because I notice myself falling asleep well, or it's just a placebo. More tired but like, once you take the walk yeah. from the bed to the shelf, <laughs> yeah. back to the bed. it was so much effort. Yeah. But I, yeah, it's, it's really interesting. It's just when I'm like, no, I need to. I'd fall asleep. Yeah. I cannot. My brain will not shut off Reagan, right now. You had one of my melatonin last night. Did it? Did you like tell the difference? All I know is I slept. Yeah. I never take melatonin. Yeah. I'm like paranoid. I never did either. Well, yeah. I, I wasn't I read, even a pill guy. I wasn't I, even an ibuprofen that's guy. That's so funny. But I did read online that like melatonin can like mess with your birth control. Ah. Mm. So mm -hmm. that's why like I get really, really? paranoid. But at this point, <laughs> I'm on like so many meds. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, it's like they're going to yeah. And I had probably working. I had such a bad headache last night and... I was struggling. I was tossing and turning. And yeah, you've been doing that lately. You, I mean, you've been doing that <laughs> since I've known you. But yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, no, I, I just, I have such bad, like, insomnia. Like, I just don't get tired at night. And I can, I, I remember, like, it was the worst in, like, 2019 when I was still living with my parents. I think they just left for like a like a daycation something like that like they they went somewhere like <laughs> Iowa or something not Iowa but you know and I was home alone and it was the summertime and the air conditioning went out oh and like there was nothing I could possibly do do you have a fan yeah I had like eight fans <laughs> on me in in my basement which is the coldest part of the house when I'm famous I'm always gonna have eight fans on me <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, no, and, and and like I just, I I'm I did not sleep that night. Yeah, like I laid there just trying so hard. I didn't know about oh. melatonin that at the time, but I used to use um, Zquil. Mm. That's what they used to call you in high school, Zach. Because <laughs> <laughs> you put everyone to sleep. No, because I uh, was a master <laughs> archer. Oh yeah. Oh wait, yeah. is that a quill? Uh no. Peter Quill. Quill's what I'm you write with. Uh -oh. You were actually a quill killer off on a porcupine. You put, what's the thing you put the arrows in? Quiver. Oh, quiver. 
<laughs> Z quiver. <laughs> Oh no, I do not like that. No. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I didn't know about melatonin, but I used Zequil, which is significantly worse for you. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's just drugs. It's literally just cough syrup without the cough medicine in it. Which, it, it, and I remember Mixed with a little bit of Sprite, it goes down easy. <laughs> <laughs> a little Jolly Ranch in there too. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt. Uh, no, that's like, a joke. I, I, I didn't use it. It's all legal. <laughs> I didn't use it as much as I use melatonin now just because melatonin's natural and it's a lot healthier Supposedly. for you. But like if I needed it, I'd use z and like even that didn't work. If it was natural, your body would just produce it on its own volition. <laughs> hey. Your body would produce melatonin by the ounce. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so now I, I switched to melatonin and I use it pretty much every night, which is not how you're supposed to yeah, take it. Yeah, not. But, uh, you know, I should probably just run a few laps before you go to bed. Yeah. No, I should probably go to a doctor for my insomnia um, and get actual meds for it. But for now, the melatonin is working. So, hey, I can't yeah. complain. Last night. It's funny we're talking about this because literally last night, um, I don't know if this is some sort of mental health thing, but have you guys ever like. <laughs> Do you remember that TikTok with the McDonald's napkin between the toes? Yeah. What? I, no. I like. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, a McDonald's napkin interweaved in a between. Cur curly Q. In a curly Q weaved between toes. your toes. Okay. But, yeah. But. Like a sensory thing. Yeah. I've had before where I felt like my toes touching while I'm trying to fall asleep. And it just, like, gets distracting, and I feel like I can't get comfortable because mm. of it. And last night, it got to a point where I was thinking about it, and I was, like, and I looked it up because I, like, wanted to make sure I wasn't alone. <laughs> and so I looked it up. I was, like, <laughs> uncomfortable with, like, toes touching when you're falling asleep. Mm -hmm. And I would found, like, Reddit threads and people talking about it. But then that made it even worse because then <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about it. Oh, God. And I literally... This is a little embarrassing, not really, but I ordered these those pedicure things from Amazon that Zach, can like I separate your toes. Oh well, but these ones are like jelly. <laughs> these are Zach's. Oh. These yeah. are Zach's forever. Yeah, and he's I, just I, borrowing yours. <laughs> but I because I was thinking about it, and I was like, if I had those, that would feel so nice right now. Damn, because I wouldn't have to worry about my toe, and it's mostly just my big toe and the toe next to it. Yeah, for Why some don't you reason, just wear socks because they're not in between my toes. My toes are still oh, touching mitosis. each other if I ha if I have socks on. Yeah. And it's a crazy thing to explain. So if you've never experienced it, I sound like I'm crazy right now. No, it's, but it's, it's understandable. Like, yeah. No, and so I, I was you thinking about it. <laughs> and, and, uh, well, I'm yeah, excited. So for I just your, ordered your those toes. like on a, like, so I got like the notification today saying that it shipped and I was like, oh yeah. Because <laughs> I eventually, like every other time I can't fall asleep, I do just fall asleep. Yeah. And then everything's uh, dandelions and rainbows. <laughs> but then in the time, it's like, this sucks. But yeah. I don't know. So maybe that'll help me fall asleep. Well, what, and it, what color did you order? I think they're like blue and pink. Oh, that'll definitely help. Uh, yeah. Blue helps you thinking. fall asleep faster. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Blue ones are real good. <laughs> No, but it, it's definitely, it can't be good for your sleep either when you're like that because, like, uh -huh. I just feel so much dread. I'm like, oh, my God, tomorrow's going to suck. <laughs> I'm going to be so tired. And then I'm thinking about that. Yeah. And it just, like, makes it so much worse. It's like a cycle. And then I'm like, I'm such, a, I'm a fool. I'm an idiot. I, I, why don't I go to the doctor? And then I take out my phone and I start looking up doctors and then I fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, okay. It's like when I don't need to. <laughs> yeah. Um, But to go back to the toe thing. Um, just to can I be, see him just to see like what you're dealing with? Yeah, <laughs> pull up a picture right now in the in the audio. <laughs> um, put in the metadata. <laughs> we'll put it in the waveform. It'll just look like a little toe. <laughs> um, but yeah. So when I was a kid, um, I've I've always had very crooked toes. Um, and I think that just comes from shoving my giant Fred Flintstone feet into uh football cleats. And uh, I used to put those like manicure thing, the, the, the things you ordered. Yeah. I used to put like the foam ones in between my toes at night thinking that they would reshape my toes. But honestly, it probably <laughs> just made it worse. You have hobbit feet. Yeah. 
<laughs> they're enormous. I'm a size 13. And they're Almost and they're yeah. hairy. His hairy big well, hobbit feet. I am a man. I'm, I'm a man. man. <laughs> <laughs> no. But yeah. I need a buzzer. Every I've time. <laughs> I've come to realize that I'm just a really light sleeper. Yeah. Like I people will always be like, "Are you a light or a heavy sleeper?" And I'm like, I don't pay attention to that. But like since having Greg, sometimes I'll wake <laughs> up in the <laughs> middle of the night. Lesson. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just hear this dude on his wheel, his little pitter patter of the wheel, and I just cannot fall back asleep because of it. Yeah. And it just like annoys me to my core. Sometimes it's gotten as bad as I'm like, I'm sorry, Greg, but I have to. I have to take your wheel away. <laughs> and then he's just you know, like, wheel he time. just looks around. But Epic like wheel time. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. It's kind of bad sometimes. But like, yeah. I've, it's it's been better. So yeah. like. <clears throat> Zach, you should ask Ben how light of a sleeper I am. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> no. There are sometimes I will make the loudest, like I'll drop my water bottle on my nightstand, a metal hydro flask water bottle on my nightstand. It's the loudest noise possible. Yeah, you could be shuffling around the p- pots and pans in the bottom of the oven. Oh my God. And Reagan could be right by and she wouldn't wake no. up. Yeah, Not I, at all. I guess last week I was dead asleep and <laughs> Zach busted into our bedroom. And I was like, oh, because Ben was like, Shh. and I was like, oh, sorry. <laughs> and then Reagan just like got up and like kind of like looked around. Yeah, but I don't remember. Any yeah, because the next day I was like, nah, it'll be fine. Because I did re- I did feel bad. And then I was like, she's not going to remember. And then the next day I was like, hey, Reagan, do you remember this? And she was like, what? <laughs> I feel bad sometimes, Reagan, because I know you sleep talk sometimes. <laughs> Um, what? and like, I've learned to just ignore it, especially like if I'm at my desk and you're sleeping <laughs> and I'm like, I have headphones on. If I hear you talk, I'm going to take my, my headphone off. But if it sounds like gibberish, I'm just going to ignore it. But like last night you said, Ben, Ben, and I, I almost ignored it, but I was like, I should probably, yes, Reagan. <laughs> and you weren't, you were conscious. And I was like, thank God. Cause you've been in a world of hurt <laughs> yeah i would have come over there and taught you a lesson oh no that's funny though because uh my ex-girlfriend would talk in her sleep and it would be like it'd be like to a point where it was like not comprehensible mm-hmm. but it was almost comprehensible yeah. as in like i could almost understand what she was saying but it just did not make sense Front door yeah. sideways yeah well, something like yeah. that but it just even more confu- like I can't even explain the extent at which it's like she was speaking a different language. The monkey carpet's but on fire. It was still in English. <laughs> yeah. Well, the what? Like I obviously don't ever remember it, but I just know. Like I've told you guys this story. My sister came in the room and I was asleep, and I sat up and I went, "I'm gonna pee the bed." <laughs> she went, "What?" And I said, "I'm gonna pee the bed." <laughs> and then I just laid back down, and guess what? I did not. That's good. Which is impressive because if you're asleep and you're saying you're gonna pee the bed, you're gonna pee the bed. Like you, you beat it. <laughs> your body you knows before your brain. Yeah, I used to scare the shit out of my dad though, because yeah. like my bedroom didn't have a door; it was just stairs up to the third floor. Oh my god! And at the bottom of the stairs was our like TV room, so my my dad would be sitting down there at night like watching a movie, and then he'd just hear. <laughs> no, no. Uh, that'd be bad that. that'd be bad but talking normal volume would be worse Just, like oh uh, uh, uh. that's the worst version of horror in my mind <laughs> that's funny because i used to have a reoccurring dream but it was like a nightmare but it shouldn't have been because yeah. it wasn't scary but it's like i was in a basement it was kind of like in die of a wimpy kid in the first movie when Greg gets locked in the basement. Yeah. And uh, it was like those stairs going up to the door. And it's like I was in the basement and there was a dog on the other side of the door like barking. Mm-hmm. And that dream was like so scary to me. But like there was nothing to be scary about. But in my dream I felt like scared mm. for some reason. And I don't even know what that means. But if any psychologists out there know what dream therapy is or dream meanings are yeah i um, probably won't believe it but you can try um actually zach that scene was in diary of wimpy kid 2 <laughs> roger rules wait was it actually yeah because remember that's oh, the one with the party yeah and general grant on the thermostat on the thermostat <laughs> yeah yeah oh it's funny 
We should play that instead. Just oh scrap this God. whole thing. Um, yeah. We all have to go to the bathroom, and Zach has food day at work. And there's, only, and there's only two bathrooms, so we're going to have to figure this out. Yeah. Well, I don't have to pee, actually. I'm, I, could, I, could, I could live. Um, Zach, we also have a balcony. We, I, a sink. I'll go on the balcony. Zach, uh, where can the people find you? Um, this at, camera, this camera. Uh, uh, <laughs> on Instagram, at Zachy.h. And you can find me at school all the time. <laughs> okay. You actually only have one in-person class. Yeah. Yeah, so not all the time. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, you can find me at Ben Ray Boy pretty much everywhere, B-O-I. Um, my music is under Ben Ray. Um, it it yeah. weirds me out when I get, like, a girl Snapchat, but just, like, a buddy. Mm. And a buddy. they have, like, their name with, like, a heart behind it. Cause it's like oh, I didn't put. Yeah. I don't want anyone to think like I put that there. Cause they just put that as their name. Yeah. And so if you get a Snapchat from them, it's their name with a heart next to it. So it's and then like, you're, do I have to go in and manually change it? But then I'm messing with how they want their name to be displayed on their Snapchat. So yeah. I feel like I'm messing with them. And then maybe your SO looks over your shoulder and goes, yeah. hmm? "Who's that?" Hmm? Not an issue for me right now, but hey, hopefully it will be soon. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, yeah. Maybe we did more to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Squeeze out a little bit more of that lemon. <laughs> and and microphone looks like All right, guys. Good squeeze night. that lemon. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bye. Thank you for listening to the first episode of Omaha Homies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends. Tune in next week for more stories, jokes, and an inside look on what it's like to be an Omaha Homie.